Welcome to ICANN University. In our last episode, we populated some modules with inputs and outputs and began the initial function block layout for our program. Now we're going to go into a little more detail covering the types of inputs available and their setup properties. Let's start by looking at the voltage input we created for the system hydraulic pressure. The first three parameters are primarily descriptive, name, description, and units for the measurement. The reference voltage lets you choose one of two built-in 5-volt regulated reference voltages to power your sensor, or you can choose not used if you are supplying external power. Using the built-in VREF will provide an error warning if an error is detected. The error value is the value that would be used if an error was detected. Device type provides a list of common Parker ECD sensors that will automatically load the parameters. Next on the list is calibration and scaling. This input is currently set up as a ratiometric sensor where instead of the full range of 0 to 5,000 millivolts, it's set for 500 to 4,500 millivolts to allow for open or short circuit detection. This range is then scaled to 0% to 100%. Scaling can also be done using math function blocks within the program. The last section, Alarms, is where you can decide values for low and high alarms, as well as make control decisions if an alarm is activated. Let's look at the seat switch digital input. You can see that the only parameters are the name and description. This digital input is a pull-down input, so it can be powered from a VREF channel or the full system voltage. Take a look at the circuit diagram. The next section of digital inputs is the pull-up type of input. We've temporarily added a channel to show that like the pull-up type of input, the pull-down input only offers the name and description parameters. Take a look at the circuit diagram for the pull-up digital input. The logic levels for all digital inputs are greater than 4 volts is a logic 1 and less than 1 volt is a logic 0. The next group we will look at are the pull-up and pull-down frequency inputs. Note that these pins are shared with digital inputs as well as others as part of the dynamic I.O. we talked about in an earlier episode. We've created a temporary frequency input channel to show the parameters. Like all I.O. and function blocks, there is a name and a description attribute. The units are defaulted to not used, but you can type something in if you'd like, but it is strictly a text field. Disable is defaulted to not used, but can be assigned to a channel in order to allow control over it when it's active. In this example, when the door switch is true, the frequency input will be disabled. The max field is for the highest frequency in hertz the sensor is rated for, or what it will see in operation, and the scaled max is the scaled vector value you want the program to see. The frequency inputs have a range of 5 to 50,000 hertz. The fast response field will consider anything less than 20 Hz to be zero in order to better use the bandwidth if switched to on. The alarms are handled the same way as in the voltage inputs. Tune into our next episode of ICANN University to continue to look at different inputs and how you can use them in ICANN design.